careful not to choke on your aspirations. 10 things that I used to accept as being true. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! God, or gods, or collective unconscious, Christ, etc. The idea of some kind of higher power, in some way, shape, or form. I had the belief in that. I thought, is there a god? Could there be multiple gods? Could it be like the Hindu system of personality of gods? So it's like gods, but actually... There's only one true divine, one ultimate truth. So these ideas batted around in my head for many years. Autism. Angels, archangels, God's messengers. I believed in those ideas to some great degree. I got into the books of Doreen Virtue and other so-called angel experts, the idea of angels and mythology with angels and archangels, and the idea of messengers from God. No! No! Guardian angels spirit guides, and spiritual guardians. This concept isn't quite the same as angels per se, although there is a bit of an overlap to some degree. Although I used to believe in the same sort of thing, I used to believe that, oh if I um, hear a voice as I'm going to sleep, which is a common hallucination, it's probably a spirit or spirit guide. Retard alert class! Psychics, mediums and sensitives. Psychics who claim to read people, mediums who claim to talk to the dead, sensitives who have some sensitivity in some way, shape or form. I used to believe in these ideas profoundly. I used to go to a spiritualist church, used to read books about psychics, mediums and other relating issues. And pull the trigger! Do it! Do it, mother Pull the trigger! Channeling. I used to believe in channeling, alien channeling, uh, ascended master channeling, channeling angels, etc. Uh, trans mediums, where they would supposedly channel the dead, uh, or the people in the afterlife, and yeah, I used to believe in that very much, and it was a very common thing uh, within the spiritualist church, with some of the groups I was involved with, where they would go into a trance, or channel the afterlife, in a way in which they'd act like a character. Fuck the fucking fuck off, you fuck! Aliens, interdimensional beings, and ghosts. I used to believe in aliens, I used to think perhaps they were interdimensional, the idea of reptilians was partially involved in that too. Interdimensional beings, beings ascended masters, those who managed to break out of the matrix, uh, ghosts of different kinds, whether we talk about spirits or whether we talk about um, an imprint on the background, hauntings. So I had a strong belief in that and was involved with uh, several amateur uh, ghost hunting events. Our universe is doomed! Nature spirits, fairies and other realms. I used to believe in nature spirits, uh, like energy fields and orbs and all this kind of stuff, uh, like nature energy and beings. Um, things that I wouldn't really call fairies, I didn't really believe in little things flapping around, but I did believe in the kind of general concept of what they did, and the idea of other realms, such as nature realms and different vibrational states. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Healing, healers. Cleansing the aura and other relating ideas. I used to believe in that very much. I used to um, have friends who were Reiki healers and spiritualist healer, healers, uh, Christian spiritualist healers, and um, I used to go for healing regularly and even started doing some basic training to become a spiritualist healer. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life! Crystal power slash energy. I used to believe in the idea of crystal power and the energies thereof. The concept of these things was very true to me. I had a large collection of crystals at one point, and I used to believe that they worked more strongly, more, well, actually, than genuine medicine. And indeed, in some ways, that combined with the idea of healing, whether via crystals or via some energetic process, made me kind of look at science in a different way, an unhelpful and pseudo-scientific way. How about new? The afterlife, heaven, and reincarnation. I used to believe in the afterlife. I used to believe in the idea of reincarnation and in-between life and all sorts of weird concepts. The reason why I believed in these things was not because of any form of evidence, but because I liked the ideas of them. And this is true of a great many ideas I've mentioned today. I was convinced by talking to people who seemed to know better, who seemed to be authority figures, but in actuality were not authorities. They were simply people with a belief. And they would share books with me or recommend books, I would read them 
and as a result I'd become more indoctrinated in the belief, as opposed to actually dealing with this situation, these ideas, on a rational, evidence-based level. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. How about no?